Alright guys, so, what's up guys? Obviously I'm talking to my family right now, who's watching this. Um, today I'm going to be going um, over everything that I carry in my uh, tackle bag when I go fishing. So, it's going to be a little bit of a long video. So, uh, let's get started. I carry four 3600 size boxes in this bag, all Plano. Uh, so, first, 3600. These are all hard baits in here. So, starting off in the deep diving section. We have a Mitsuo uh, Funky Shad right here. Deep diving crankbait. Uh, got this from Walmart. Works really, really nice. We have a uh, Bill Dance Fat Free Shad right here. Um, I haven't caught any fish on it. I love the bait though. I like how it's a deep diver. I love throwing deep divers. Next deep diver right here, we have a Brad's um, deep diving crankbait. Works very, very nice for deep creeks and more than that. Next, we have my swim baits over here, hard swim baits. These are all hard baits in this box. Um, right here, we have a Mitsuo uh, musky minnow right here. Jointed swim bait. Works very nice. Tested it out today. Has amazing action. I have a jointed um, Berkeley flicker shad swim bait right here. Deep diver. My jerk baits. Come on. Alright, so right here we have a rebel brown trout. Right here. Works really nice for uh, creek fishing. I like to throw these in my local reservoir, but I wouldn't throw this one because it really doesn't match the pattern. We have a Rebel Track Down right here, um, Blueback Shad. Square lip on it, I have no idea what that is. I've never seen a square, um, a jerk bait like that, so that's really odd. We have another uh, Rebel Jerk Bait right here in slick black. Um, a little different than the first brown trout pattern. Um, where is that? Oh shoot, I must have left it down at the creek. Um, but I usually only carry, I usually carry three uh, floating Rapala jerk baits, but I guess I left one down at the creek, so I'm gonna have to deal with this. Right here we have a, a silver and a, a rainbow trout with a feather trailer. And lastly we have a scatter wrap right here. My square bills, right here. More square bills. This is probably what I have most of my crankbait. Probably my favorite crankbait to throw. Um, this is my favorite uh, crankbait because it's my favorite square bill. Um, this is the KVD um, series. Um, this right here, this size right here is the 1.0. Right here, we have a Cotton Cordell um, Big O right here in Gold Eye Shad. Right here, we have a Storm Arashi uh, Square 5 right here, Square Bill Crankbait. Really like this bait because it has a circuit board lip. Um, and it's in a crawfish pattern. We have another KVD series right here. This is the KVD... 1.5. Um, my favorite uh, square bill is the 1.5. So, would make sense that I have one like that. We have another Storm Arashi right here in Bluegill. And then 
then we have another uh, Cotton Cordell Big O right here, Fire Tiger. And then a, uh, another um, uh, Arashi right here in Tennessee Shed. My lipless cranks right here. Look, this may or not may or may not be happening at this point. Okay, I like using cotton cordels when it comes to lipless. But right here we have a cotton cordel uh, in white smally right there. Nice lipless crankbait has a lot of rattles. Uh, works really really well for reservoir fishing. We have a clack and wrap right here by Rapala in a uh, American Shad pattern. Then we have a, another cotton cordel right here in regular smallmouth color. All right, and then down on this little bottom row right here, my uh, trolling crankbaits right in this little compartment. We have a uh, flatfish quick right here. It has a really nice rolling action. And then we have another one of those in just a bigger color. Well, not a bigger color, but a bigger size. We have some uh, mini crankbaits right here. Uh, Rebel crawfish, deep diver. And then I have uh, some collectible crankbaits, and uh, well, this is basically all my collectible lures right here, and some other collectible stuff that I'll show you. So right here is a uh, Green Bay Packers um, authentic collectibles fishing lure. It opened on accident. Um, really, really nice bait though. Got it from the Green Bay Packers Hall of Fame. My teacher did in Lambeau Stadium. We have a couple collectible coins right here. Um, this is a uh, Legacy Regional coin right here. And uh, I got this on my Canadian uh, fishing trip. Right here. The uh, $2 coin. This uh, is actually a homemade crankbait that I made right here. It's out of clay. And then... Uh, Canadian Spoon. Alright, next 3600. Uh, these are all spinners and spoons right here. These are all my spinners and spoon arsenal. A couple homemades. Alright, first compartment are some Bass Kicker signature baits right here. I can get a couple unstuck for you guys. This may or may not be happening at this point. I got it. This right here is a Bass Kicker Classic Feather Trailer. Gives it a really nice kick. Uh, this is just the Classic Gold Multi right here. This right here is another Bass Kicker Classic, just in a different color, white and green. Alright guys, right here, sorry for that jump cut, but right here we have a Bass Kicker Big Water in pink, with a feather trailer. Another Big Water. Just in uh, chartreuse. And then this is probably my favorite bass kicker bait. The um, Comet right here. The bass kicker Comet with the feather trailer. Double blade. Yellow devil. Alright. My big spoons. My pike spoons. Right here we have a double X spoon right here. In fire tiger. Use this up in Canada a lot. Um, you guys should watch that video. Get resituated here. 
Right here we have a uh, Canadian Len Thompson number two. Right here, Red Devil. Drop it, that's really good. Then uh, right here we have a uh, double X tackle uh, rainbow trout spoon right here. My spoons right here. I have a um, I usually carry three with me: Thomas double X and uh, Daredevil. These are my Thomas spoon arsenals right here. This is a uh, Thomas buoyant right here. A brown trout pattern. And then a, uh, my favorite spoon to throw. Oh, shoot. The Thomas Cyclone right here. Gold. My double X. Shoot. We have a double, we have a double X tackle spoon right here in silver hammered brass. Then we have one in gold right here. It's uh, really getting late too. It's like, I don't know, it's like, uh, it's 316 right now. So. My daredevils. This right here is a classic daredevil, bighorn special color. And these uh, are two off brands. My homemades, right here. I'll uh, just show you as I go. This is just a homemade spinner I just made for the creek down here. Shoot. Uh, we have a Bass Kicker Classic right here with no feather trailer. Gold, classic. Uh, another Bass Kicker Classic right here, just a chartreuse. I use this one today. Another perch spoon or spinner right there. Uh, this is another bass kicker one. This is the bass kicker spin flash. And then uh, just a hammered brass spoon that I made. My name brand spinners. Right here I got some blue fox all in here. My Thomas, my rooster tail, my panther martins, and my meps. So starting off with the blue fox. We have a uh, blue fox whip tail right here. Found this down at my creek. We have a blue fox bullet right here with kind of like a panther martin blade almost. Really nice lure. I've had a couple of rounds follow that. Then we have a classic blue fox right here. Um, Vibrox in a green silver chartreuse. And then another Vibrox in a like a grayish color. Found that in an old tackle box. My Thomas. I have a, a Thomas special spin single blade right here. This is my old faithful. I've caught so many fish on this spinner right here. And then we have a Thomas double blade right there. My rooster tails. This right here is a uh, rooster tail uh, regular right there, uh, one eighth ounce white, and a uh, same thing right here. My Panther Martin, which is probably my favorite um, inline spinner to throw besides the bass kicker. Right here we have a number six um, gold. Come on. Alright, well, 
This is my favorite Panther Martin to throw um, in color wise. Uh, this right here is a uh, Panther Martin in a Hornet color right there. Size 6, gold. My favorite size is size 6. You have a size 15 Panther Martin right here, which is ridiculously large. I also found that in the same tackle box where I found that blue fox. We have a size 4 Panther Martin right here. Pretty small. Um, kind of like a brown trout. Weird color right there. I don't know if it's actually brown, but it's a really nice color. We have a silver color right there. Size 6 always. And then uh, we have a brown trout pattern right here. I've caught a giant brown on this. Um, I actually caught my personal best creek brown, wild brown trout on this. So size six always again. And this is a really, this is probably the smallest panther martin I've ever owned. I've had it for years. This is a size one, silver and the classic panther martin. Onto my maps, last compartment of this box. We have a Meps Aglia uh, right there, red and black pattern, but it's basically worn off, so I just basically uh, call it a silver and red trailer now. Probably my favorite Meps to throw right here, this is the Meps Aglia uh, size 3, classic. And then a really old Meps right here, this is like a, a Meps from like the 1980s, very old one right there next 3600 uh this is where i keep my uh top waters chatter baits jigs swim baits spinner baits basically all that stuff jig heads okay so first compartment of this box right here are my uh chatter baits this is a uh, classic z-man uh chatter bait right here in uh Red and black. Um, I have this one right here equipped with the uh, Strike King River Bug Green Pumpkin. And then uh, we have a really, really cool high tech um, Z Man Chatter Bay right here um, with a black and blue with, uh, of course, the River Bugs. My swim jigs. These are all equipped with uh, swim baits right here. This is a Strike King swim jig right here, um, green pumpkin with a double A, double A's uh, swim bait right here, Jackson Trout. And then right here we have a Strike King um, swim jig right here in uh, with a yellow perch um, swim jig um, um, swim bait on the back, Berkeley Havoc sick fish. Right here we have a Arky a swim jig right here in crawfish with a impulse paddle shad right there by Northland Fishing Tackle. My marabou, probably my favorite hair jig to throw. An impulse, I believe this is a marabou. Yeah, it is. A, it, I, I think it's just called a marabou um, hair jig right there. Have a um, exact same one only in white. And then uh, this one actually is um, pretty cool. Those are all the same right here. Um, I just used it today, so the hair isn't really showing right now because it's all put together. But this is a signature bass kicker uh, marabou jig. So my pre-rigged swim baits right here. Right here we have an Impulse Paddle Shad by Northland Fishing Tackle. We have a Storm Live Target um, Pumpkin Seed. We actually have three of those. And then we have a Berkeley Havoc Sickfish right here in Perch. My Popper Collection. Right here we have an original Pop R, Rebel Pop R right here in Perch, the uh, white teaser tail. 
I've had this one for many years, about five years. This is a Strike King KVD popper right here in Perch. I think they discontinued this one. My frogs. This is a uh, Booyah Pad Crusher right here. Got all the legs messed up. Booyah Pad Crusher or Crusher or whatever it is. Caught some fish on this frog right here. Then we have a KVD uh, Papa Frog right here, Poppin' Perch. Very unique frog. Then right here we have some mini spinner baits. Um, some uh, pre rig jigs. Then we have some uh, miscellaneous jig heads. And then right here we have uh, my buzz bait and spinner bait arsenal. This is a uh, Ozark Trail buzz bait right here. And these are uh, Oz all Ozark Trail spinner baits. Right here, we have a white one. I just hooked myself, that ain't good. A red one. And a uh, chartreuse. On the plastics. All my soft plastics arsenal right here. Alright, here we go. So first off... We have some Sankos right here. These are all Yum Dingers. Uh, I prefer Yum Dingers right here. We have some in uh, Watermelon Seed, uh, Red and Copper, and just Copper. And um, I mean just, and then Red. My River Bugs, Strike King River Bugs. These are all uh, Green Pumpkin right here. Uh, swim Baits and Flukes right here. We have a uh, regular Zoom Super Fluke right here in Bubblegum couple more of those and then we have the regular uh, baby bass uh, super fluke junior then we have um, the double-a swim bait Jackson trout uh, the Berkeley havoc sick fish and then the uh, impulse paddle shad my tubes right here these are um, just some Northland fishing tackle impulse uh, we have some KVD, these are my drop shot worms and baits right here. We have some KVD perfect plastics right there. In, um, dream shot. Right here we have some, uh, impulse Northland tackle, um, drop shot worm, curly tail right there. Drop shot. We have some, uh, TRDs by Z-Man right here for net rigs. Some uh, grappy grubs. Then my curl tail grubs. My my favorite curl tail grub, you guys, has to be the. If it'll get unstuck, has to be the uh, Collins um, lunker grub right here. So my favorite curly tail. Threw it on the back of a one um, fourth ounce jig head, and that does it for my plastics. Now to the outside of the box. All right, guys. So this first pocket right here, we have some uh, needle nose pliers, spring loaded. Got my uh, hook and weight arsenal right here. So I got some uh, different types of lead split shots, bullet weights, and mini egg sinkers. And I got some worm hooks, bait holder by Eagle Claw, my circle hook and wide gap hook, and then my treble hooks. Sorry about that, guys. My brightness went down. So we got that right there. Then we got our Loctite super glue for rods and stuff. Fish grippers. Um, um, some repel for mosquitoes, knife, dividers, contact info, and organization stuff. On this side right here, we have... Some floats, some hand sanitizers, salmon eggs, right there. I don't really keep a lot on my sides, except like if I need to keep some weights. Um, on this side, we have my stringer right here, as you guys can see. Um, I have some, I have a scale right there. Some swivels right there, snaps, split rings, sliders, a first aid kit right here. Some catfishing sinkers, and my uh, drop shot teardrops. And there we go, we got all my tackle. 
So, hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys on the next one.